Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Bioshock with Calvi Calv. This will actually be the last one for this game, because I'm going to go fight Fontaine, the final boss of the game. I will get the good ending. Um, yeah. And then that'll be it for this one. Uh, just a short notice, or not short notice, just a little notice. Uh, there's, I did miss one of the power of the people. Um, to be able to get it, you have to not kill Fontaine. Uh, not Fontaine. You have to kill Fontaine. Screw that guy. You have to not kill Sander Cohen. When you meet him the first time, when you go to Olympic Heights, you can go into his apartment. You have to kill some people in there, which you probably would do anyway. Um, and then he will come out, and then there's a room that you can get into. And there's a the power to the people in there. So, I found that online. So, I now know that I could have done that had I been paying attention. But to be fair, I don't really... I usually upgrade weapons I use first, and I do not use the bolt stuff very often. I don't use anything really but, but the wrench. I mean, I could probably take Fontaine with just a wrench if I wanted to, but I want it to be a short fight. So, let's head on up. Here we go! Uh, screw you and everything you stand for. You're gonna be so mad. Go. Go now. Hit it with the needle. Why would you not get out of that though? I mean. Um, I didn't say switch weapons, but okay. You get a needle, you get a needle, you get a needle. Stab, stab.
They offered you this city. And you refused it. And what did you do instead? What I've come to expect of you. You saved them. You gave them the one thing that was stolen from them. A chance. A chance to learn. To find love. To live. And in the end, what was your reward? You never said. But I think I know. A family. Alright. That was it. I understand it's a very short video. But to be fair, you know, only on medium. Um, and I did get pretty much everything. So, um, yeah. I do really love this game. It was a beautiful game when I first started playing it. When I, years and years ago. And the, the, that plot twist messed with my mind. Been a big fan ever since. Uh, loved 2, although I understand 2 gets a lot of hate. I loved Infinite. Me and my wife actually had a Bioshock themed wedding, because we both loved the game as she loved the game as well. So, big fan of the series. Uh, I need to play System Shock at some point, because that's the spiritual successor, or not spiritual successor, predecessor. I think System Shock 2. So, um, if people want, at some point I could do go through the director's commentary. I go through the museum and show everybody everything so you can pause and see it. You know, if, if you didn't buy the this version yourself. You didn't buy the remastered. Otherwise, you could just get everything. Additional content. I don't really like the additional content. It's just kind of little small mission things that really don't add anything to the game, in my opinion. I mean, they're fun, challenge they're fun for challenging purposes, but not really story-wise. I'm a big fan of story. Uh... Yeah, so the plan after this is to do Bioshock 2. Hopefully I get that done. I want to do Infinite. Uh, I also have Psychonauts. Those are the kind of the next three games I intend to play. Uh, obviously I will get the good ending of Bioshock 2. Infinite. Uh, if people want me to play through, replay through Bioshock, uh, I could play it evil, I could play it on hard, I could play it without Vita Chambers. I could do all three at the same time. Same thing with Bioshock 2. I have gone through on Bioshock 2 before and beaten it on hard with no Vita Chambers. So that was challenging. But I figured I'd get one trophy. Or both two trophies at the same time. Um, Infinite I've gone through on 1999 mode, which is a lot of fun. You gotta be a lot smarter and a lot more tactical. Because you can't just run around and waste everything. Uh, yeah, there's really no good or evil in that one. Per se. But, that's it. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, would you kindly? I would greatly appreciate it. Any of that, like it, comment, tell me what you thought of the game. Tell me if you want me to dance like a chicken. Uh, and all that jazz. So that's it for Bioshock 1. The next one will obviously be Bioshock 2. So check out those videos as well when they come out. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I should say, but I don't write a script or anything, so I'm not one of those guys who writes scripts for every video they record. That would be weird. Alright. I'll stop dilly-dallying. Trying to make this a little bit longer. So, I greatly appreciate anyone and everyone who watches this. Getting to share one of my favorite games with somebody else. Anybody else. So, thank you for watching. Uh, it's been a pleasure playing this game again.
and I will see you in Bioshock 2. So, Calvi Calv out.